We are in our 70 series combine today and we're going to run through our different header calibrations that are available to us through the command center. Um, we want to first hit the diagnostics tab and go into the first page or second page which brings us to calibrations. First one we're going to do is feeder house speed. Um, all calibrations are basically um, you select them through this tab and they give you instructions and uh, it's fairly automated with the display, if you read the instructions on the display, and do as told. First step is to lower the feeder house so that the header is resting on the ground. Go ahead and hit enter, our next page. Now we have to hold the raise switch and continue holding the raise switch until prompted. Now it's telling us to lower and continue holding the lower switch. And now the calibration is complete. It's important to arrow forward and hit the enter key to save the calibration. The next calibration we're going to perform is our feeder house tilt calibration. We gotta to go to the drop down menu, select feeder house tilt, engine running at low idle, and enter. Asking us to tilt the feeder house all the way to the left. Then to the right. And of course this sensor is or this calibration is dialing in our contour master for us for the best performance. Now we're centering the feeder house by looking at the uh, notch in the middle of the header. Go ahead and enter once complete. Okay, the last calibration that we need to perform today is the header calibration. Once again, we go to the diagnostics tab and to the drop down menu and we get to select header. The instructions on the screen tell us to run the engine at high idle. So we go ahead and hit enter. Okay. In order to calibrate the Hydroflux header, we have to decrease the cutter bar pressure to under 1,000 psi. So we're just using the dial on our armrest to do that with the manual adjust. Once it's there, it'll let us go ahead and move forward with the calibration by lowering the feeder house so that it is resting on the ground. Select next to continue. Now it's asking us to raise. And now our calibration is complete. So you want to arrow forward and select enter to save.